Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kihil or K, and the Sophie Shaw came out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the Sophie Shaw came out. Even though it doesn't seem like it, I have my lamp on, first of all, my eyes on. It's like making me squint. But I have my lamp on because it is 7, 17 a.m. Might as well just show you guys. Oops. And time hasn't changed yet, so it's kind of dark in the mornings. That will change next month or something soon. Anyway, and I don't even know when this is coming out. Probably next month. Definitely next month. What am I talking about? Anyway, but I just had to film this video, okay? I'm already filming another video, but I had to film this video because when I saw Petite Knit with her Sophie shawl, you guys probably know. You guys probably don't know. I don't know if I have a podcast episode coming out before this video. If not, because I'm, I plan to show the show, the Sophie, the Sophie shawls, ah, the Sophie scarves that I've knitted. I plan to show that in my next podcast episode. But if I haven't already, I knitted four Sophie scarves already and I plan to just knit a bunch of them all the time because it's a nice in between big projects project. It's nice to use your scrap yarn on it. So yeah, I've done a bunch of those. And Petite Knit came out with a shawl version of it. And as I've said many times, I'm not gonna knit shawl, da, 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 da. but this is different. Okay, it's different. Why is it different? Because it's simple. And it's just a Sophie scarf times however big it is. So the pattern came out last night, which, you know, the equivalent to today for Petite Knit. And we stayed up to get that pattern. Even though we weren't going to knit it like we couldn't get it today. But anyway, so I'm going to be knitting a bunch of Sophie shawls. It comes in three sizes. So I'm going to do the medium size. No, I'm going to do a small size first because it uses like 300 something meters and a second one the medium size uses 400 something meters but more than what I have right now and plan to use so let me show you yarn that I plan to knit with boom I plan to knit with these two colors it's DK weight of superwash merino wool by Sorella and this one is can you see can you see oh my god so pretty this one is reflecting light and might as well take this out and this one right here is called mm, Thank you and good night. It's from one of her collections. I don't remember because I buy a lot of yarn from a lot of her collections. And also, she has a lot of collections. It's one of her fairly recent ones from this year. But I decided to use these two. I'm going to start with this one. And whatever I have left over, I'm just going to make a Sophie scarf out of it. Yeah. So, 5 millimeter needles gonna be nice and big I'm very excited I'm gonna use my lick of needles because I'm using my clover needles for something for another project so five millimeter it's right here All right yep five millimeter needles boom and I'm just going to use my 32 inch cable because why not just use the biggest one I have. Not the biggest one, the second to, 
second's the biggest one. And this is going to be such a simple video, but I don't want to film it just because I'm going to film it. I just feel like filming it. I feel like it would be fun. <laughs> okay. And I can just like turn this video into a vlog or something. Update you guys on a bunch of stuff that happens during my time of knitting the Sophie Shop. Mm -hmm. I think that's all I have for you guys. I'm not sure how long this will take me to knit because I'll be going back and forth between this and my main project. So this is just going to be like a side project for me, honestly. But I have to start it right now. <laughs> I have to. Like this is a nice, simple project to have on a side, you know? So, yeah. And plus I have a bunch of like places I have to go outside of the house so instead of bringing like a beanie project or something it would be so easy to bring this shawl that's gonna look cool as I'm knitting it up and it gets bigger <sighs> heck yeah oh my god I'm so excited definitely bringing my camera now that I'm thinking about it definitely bringing my camera to film like where I'm going and stuff so yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. So I'll see you guys later on. Hey guys, it's 112. <laughs> Let me show you. 112, oh, 113 p.m. now. And would you like to see my progress? <laughs> Look at this. Look. I started this this morning, you guys. This is a lot of progress. This is more progress than I thought I would have. It's just so addicting. I can't stop knitting it. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep knitting it until I finish all the increases that I need to do. Because I'm basically almost done with the increases. I mean, not really. I still have like 20 plus rows <laughs> left. But... That's, that's nothing. Like, I'm going to be done with that. I, and I say I'm going to stop <laughs> when I finish the increases, but I know I'm probably going to keep going with the decreases because, like I said, this is so addicting. But also, I'm going somewhere tomorrow where I'm going to need a knit project, like a simple knit project. And what if? I reach the decreases and then I start the decreases and then I don't have enough to like have a knit project for all day because I end up finishing it on the road. <laughs> that would suck because I don't plan to bring a backup project but I will make my decision on whether or not I'll bring a backup project based on the progress I get later today because right now as I'm talking to you guys I decided I'm just gonna continue even when I reach the decreases and if I get a good amount into the decreases tonight then I'm just gonna bring another project with me as well just in case I finish this because that would suck to not have a knit project and then I'm just like sitting somewhere 
with nothing? Oh my god, what did I do before yarn? Ugh, it's on my phone? Disgusting. Anyway, yeah, so when I reach the decreases, like the start of the decreases, I'm gonna use the other color that I have so that it can be equal on both sides, like the colors. That'd be nice. Anyway, Malika was like, it's not looking like a shawl. It's like, I still have so many rows to go, but also this is the small, so it's not gonna look as huge as the one that Petite Knit has because the one that's shown in her pattern is a large, pretty sure. Pretty sure it's large, so yeah. I think that's it. Oh, this pattern, this it's just so mindless and simple and beautiful. And this is a great way to showcase variegated yarns. I will say this is a great pattern to showcase. So if you have some, ooh, did y'all hear that? That was my hip. This is DK wet yarn. If you guys have some DK wet yarn, and especially if it's variegated and you want to show off the variegation without it like getting lost in a sweater because you use mohair or something or slipover or whatever, whatever. Definitely knit up the shawl. And I'm not a shawl knitter or a shawl wearer. I don't own a shawl. I've never knit up a shawl. But... Where am I going with this? But I realized when I saw Petite Knit working on this shawl before she came up with the pattern, I realized I wanted to knit it, one, because it's like a, just a huge Sophie scarf, and two, I get cold in a house, and instead of like putting on a jacket or something and I already have a long sleeve on, like if I get cold right now, I have a long sleeve on, it would be nice to just, you know, take a shawl and just wrap it around my head, my head, wrap it around my neck, and then I'm warm, so I'm excited. And I know this is superwash, superwash isn't very warm, but it will warm me up better than not having anything around my neck, you know? And this is a great way to use up any like leftover hanks or skeins of yarn that you have, because I have a bunch of single skein what is it called? Single skein, single hank yarns and like in DK and fingering and it'll, it'll, it'll be nice to have a project that I can just not care about this matching up with this or these colors going together like I could just have random colorful shawls which now because of this Sophie shawl I will have so I'm very excited get ready to see me knit up a bajillion Sophie scarves Sophie shawls and scarves because once I'm done with this and I have leftover yarn, I'm making a Sophie scarf. Ooh, that's gonna get me every time. Sophie scarf, Sophie shawl, Sophie, Sophie scarf, <laughs> Sophie shawl. <laughs> ah, anyway, yeah, just wanted to update you guys because, yeah. Anyway, toodles. <laughs>
Bring the accent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I'll see how much I'll be filming. We'll see. But yeah, just wanted to tell you guys that. So I'll see you guys. Just one glass in. You're already on my mind when it gets late. I always realize that I need you. Are you thinking about me too tonight? Feelings, are you thinking about me too tonight? Mm -hmm. Your hands around my waist, just let the music play like a drug. I am hooked on you, sweeter than summer wine. Baby, just hold me tight like a drug. I Hey guys, I'm so sleepy right now. It is 2.52. I've been back home for like an hour now and I didn't finish those increases last night, but I did finish them literally just now. So this is what it looks like. This is so cool, oh my gosh. Oh, so now it's time to start the decreases. So I'm gonna start with the next color for that. <sighs> but I'm I may take a nap first because oh my gosh, I I just need like a 30 minute nap or something. I'm just tired, so <sighs> I'm gonna do that and then I'll start the new color and then I'm excited because it's gonna be this length. Like a lot you guys can see the whole I'm like my it's okay. It's okay. But this color, stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the new color because then it's gonna be like equal and I can just show off both colors. Oh my gosh. Mm. Am I becoming a shawmder? Just with the Sophie show? Maybe. All right guys, after I'm done with this project, I'm going to start on another project. Just turn this into a little vlog because this is going to be a really short video if I don't. But anyway, I have this much left. See how many stitches? Yeah. This is what I have left of this shawl. It is, oh my gosh, look at this. So beautiful. When I changed colors right here, there are similar colors for this Hank and this Hank. So like, it was like seamless at the beginning. Like you couldn't even tell it was different yarn. And then of course the yarn started working up like it's own beautiful art. But look at this. Let me know which side you like, like what colorway you like better, this one or that one. At first mine was this one, but then as I started working this up and it just started having its own character, I'm like, ooh, but I like this too. So I still don't know yet. My heart gravitates more to this because it's like moodier colors. Like those colors together, the blue, the purple. Purple? Yeah, kind of purple. The pink, just all of that together. Sorry the lighting keeps changing. It just depends on if I get close or you know, lean back. Anyway, so yeah, I'm almost done. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep doing the small because this is big, okay, like, this is big, even though it's more like a scarf than a shawl. I honestly don't know the difference, okay, but yeah, this looks so good. Okay, I eventually might make the 
larger one just to have a humongous one but for now I think I'm gonna stick with the smalls just to have like I just need something for when I'm cold in a house and sometimes to just wrap around my neck to stop the cold anyway I'm almost done with this I'm gonna finish it today and then I'm gonna wind up this right here that I got from Sweden from Honsa Designs. You can find her on Instagram. She is popular there. And this is her hand dyed yarn. And it is 100% merino, superwash merino wool and BK weight. So this is perfect to use. It'll have a nice green Sophie shawl. So yeah. I'm going to immediately start on this one and you guys can come with me and see how this one is worked up as well. <laughs> I'm very excited, but I'm not going to do this right away just yet because I do have a sweater that I'm working on and I'm filming a video for that I want to get some progress in. <sighs> no, I will get started on this right away because I have somewhere to be on Wednesday. I'm going to be gone all day and I'm going to need a simple knit project that's not that sweater because that sweater is complicated and I need my charts and I'm not bringing my charts with me. Okay, just kidding. I'm going to cast this on immediately after. I forgot all about that. Okay, today is Monday, by the way. Okay, anyway, we're going to get through this one. So let's get it. What the heck? Bunny? What? What? You guys saw the door open? It was my cat. He opened the door, which I didn't even know was open. Cracked. He opened it, and then he just stared at me. And he has the zoomies. Oh, my gosh. Hey, guys. Anyway, okay, see you guys. Guys, I finished. I always suck at binding off. Oh, my gosh. Also, this is not correct because I had extra stitches, so I just, like, rapidly decreased. And yeah, look, my bind off is so ugly, but we don't care about that. No, we do not. So this is what it looks like. Also, I suck at weaving in my ends. It's just, it's just how it is. Okay. But yeah, here it is. How do they wear shawls? <laughs> Whoa, my lip gloss. Okay. Yeah. And then I want this color to be shot on this side as well. It's like a scarf. And then go like. No. <laughs> Help! Okay, let's go like this. No. How about we start like this? And then go like this. Hold on. Bear with me. Okay, and then boom, so you can see both. Oh, and I can wear a black top and then wear this like this. And then you guys can see the colors better. Wait, why am I so warm? Why is this so good? Uh, it's literally a scarf, you guys. What the heck? But this is so, this is so cute. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, this is it. This is so pretty, holy crap. I'm gonna start on the next one tomorrow. I really need to get some progress on this sweater that I'm making. So I'll take pictures and stuff tomorrow as well in this. So start the new one, take pictures in this, and then, yeah, have a project for, sorry if I still have stuff on my lips, have a project for the next, the day after tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, I have finally, finally, okay, I didn't cake it up, okay. Kalila, so kindly, copy Cali. She kindly caked up my yarn for my second Sophie shawl so I can now continue this video. I have casted on my stitches. It starts off like this. If you guys can see it, I don't feel like fixing that, so whatever. 
So yeah, now it's time to start on the second Sophie shawl. And let's see how long it takes me to get it done because I am also working on my Cargill sweater. This video is probably gonna come out before that. So let me just give you guys a little peek on what it looks like right now because why not? Oh, wh why does this look so good? Look. Oh my God. Right. It's Kalila. Dude. Kicked up my yard. Hey. Dude, look at Alexandria's nails. That's how I want mine to be. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, right? Like the length. Is yeah, really I want mine like that, but just a little longer. This doesn't have any German short rows, by the way. So you don't have to worry about that. But look at, oh my gosh, look at the stitch definition. Like this stitch makes this garment so squishy too. So excited. Okay. Anyway. Yep. So now let's work on the Sophie shawl. Hello everyone. I'm hacking Kahila's camera. She doesn't even know I have it. Hello everyone. I just finished taking pictures. So that's why I look like a bad E. Period. So I'm going to pass the camera to the ugliest person I know. Just pass it back to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over and out, guys. Say over and out, over and out, out. Oh. See you later. Okay, goodbye. Bye. How do you look cute? What the heck? I see, told you I'm not the ugliest person. <laughs> Go show that. Goodbye. Andy. Guys, I'm over here going through my clips, like through my camera now to make sure that my audio is there or whatever. Why am I just now seeing Malika's clip with Kalila? <laughs> that was like two days ago. <laughs> or yesterday? Two days ago? I don't remember. Either way, that was hilarious with Kalila and, Mal Kalila and Malika. They were so funny. I love that. Now it's time for me to hack their cameras, whatever, if I remember. Anyway, now roll to the clips that I just filmed, but I'm going to put after this one. Okay, okay. Guys, guess what I did? You won't guess, so I'm just gonna tell you. I went to Michael's. Yes, when's the last time I went to Michael's? Don't remember. Remember? Don't remember. I got some yarn from Michael's. What? What? Why? Because I have decided <laughs> to pick up a hook. <laughs> What's the last time I crocheted? Hmm? Don't remember. Sometime this year, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, probably in the summer. When's the last time I consistently crocheted? No, that's, that's another one. Once I started knitting, I stopped consistently crocheting because I was only crocheting to make clothing to look like knits and now that I know how to knit I don't need to do that anymore. So I have decided when it pertains to crocheting I'm just gonna save crocheting for like accessories and you know little household things and blankets. I started out my crochet journey like before I learned how to officially crochet before I knew what stitches were and stuff like that I just knew from memory how to create a granny square blanket because that's what my mom taught me. So that is what I'm going to do. Go back to my roots and crochet a granny square blanket because I miss crocheting. Like, I don't have time to dedicate myself to a big crochet project, but this is a different type of big crochet project that I can just have and just pick up, crochet on it a little bit, put it down. Like, I have no deadline for it. I want it to be huge. So, yeah, I think... I want to crochet! I miss crocheting! So this is the hook I'm going to be using. It's a six millimeter hook. I got it from Furls. All my hooks are from Furls. All my hooks that I use for my crochet projects are from Furls. Let me show you the yarn that I got. So you can see it right here. Boom! This is this yarn right here. This was spontaneous by the way. I wasn't like, I did not plan to do this until I found out that my sister and my mom were going to the, to a store. And I was like, you know what? Let me go to Michael's. So, this is the yarn. 
so beautiful oh my gosh I've heard so much about this yarn so I'm like let me just go ahead and try it out this is called I love the name for these this is blueberry shortcake so amazing and so I got two of these I'm gonna start off with these colors but then I also got two of these right here yeah two of these this is called fairy cake so cute it's time to start crocheting so I was knitting on my cargo sweater but I want to get started on this blanket so I'm going to start off with a little granny square and then keep on going hey guys I know the light lighting's terrible I'm sorry if I'm blurry but I finished and now I'm just gonna continue I'm just doing this from like the top of my head I'm not even like following a pattern or anything so I'm thinking you know the more I knit the bigger it's gonna get so it's gonna eventually turn into a blanket I don't remember how I did the granny square blanket before I just know this is how I do a granny square so I'm just gonna continue crocheting a granny square this yarn by the way so soft it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool so very very nice let me make sure that I'm actually looking at the correct thing yep 80% acrylic 20% wool so <laughs> get it if you are a wool lover but you want something durable you know like a blanket so I'm excited <laughs> okay anyway toodles Sometimes we act like a fool Not aware we're troublemakers Sometimes we try to be cool Not being givers, only takers I forgot like this is an actual camera so you'll be able to see me better than like if I were to film on my phone oh can't see me anyway guys so you know I started this blanket with a is this zoomed in what is this hello okay no it wasn't <laughs> anyway you guys know that I started this blanket like mm, two days ago something like that I don't remember the last time I filmed but it was like a day or two ago. What was yesterday? Yeah, it was two days ago because I was really busy yesterday. Anyway, so my blanket, you know, it's kind of getting there. It's like two feet, like two by two, getting to three by three. It's almost three by three because I'm on a second cake right now. Okay, let's be this way right here. Woo! Oh, I just, I just love always seeing my stash right there. But also, I was talking with Kalila and Malika today and I was like, I need to get through my hand dyed yarn stash. I am tired of seeing it there and then like just yearning to use it. But I have so many projects with yarn assigned to it already that I can't even put a dent in a stash. That's why next year mm, I need to put myself on a yarn band. I really I don't need any more yarn. Like I need to be on a yarn band for like any new hanks and stuff for new projects like if i i have a lot of fingering weight sorter quantities right there with no mohair attached to it and of course if i'm going to do a fingering weight sweater or use fingering weight yarn in a sweater i'm going to pair a mohair with it so most of them don't have a mohair pairing so i will buy mohair that will be the only yarn that I buy. And it doesn't matter what kind of mohair. Like, it can be anything for olive. It can be drops. I haven't used drops mohair in a while, so I actually might dip into drops. Plus, drops is cheap with great quality, so, hey. But anyway, 
yeah i just want to get through my stash that's actually a goal for next year as well so let me stop before i go through all of my goals with you guys unintentionally anyway this is what the blanket is looking like so far oh my gosh look at the colors <laughs> Oh, I miss crocheting. And then like, I chose to do like a granny square blanket because the way it accentuates these colors, oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. Oh, you just knit and you know, I just did whatever regular, that's why I have, you know how to do dip stitches, there are mm. knit stitches. Yeah, I have two, one on top of the other uh, for the, you know, it's like, uh, a stitch and then the v-shape of the knit stitch and then the stitch yeah i have stitch stitch, stitch. Uh, ah yeah. okay yeah that's why that's why i'll do it on the fourth one. yeah which is smarter <laughs> i just didn't care stitch stitch <laughs> guys <laughs> look at what i pulled out for the day oh my gosh it's the start of my sophie shawl that i have not worked on because I've been working on this blanket, okay? I'll show you guys what the blanket looks like later. But I'm currently outside right now because the cats want to chill outside. So I'm here. But later, I'm going to be going out with my family, minus my brother and Kalila. So, the rest of them. And we're just going to go out. We have some business to take care of. I'm not going to tell you guys what. But we're going out. We're going to have fun. We're going to enjoy the time. And yeah, I'm just going to bring you guys along for a little bit of it. And... This is the project I'm going to be working on because my sweater is too big for me to bring. My blanket is too big for me to bring and I just wanted something small. So, yeah. We're at Michael's. Of course, we had to stop. We're looking around the area and we realized Michael's is here. Oh, this is the door. Okay, so let's go. It's so weird not knowing where I'm going because this is a new Michael, so I'm just like, huh? But we found some yarn. Now I need to find my Karen cakes. Okay. okay. Guys, I'm sad because I can only find three of Kalila's own and I need three of mine. So I got three of Kalila's own and then my mom took the one that I had to look to see if they had more somewhere else. So. And then we just saw like the biggest Karen cakes ever and I'll show you guys. What are those for bucket hats? Yeah. Nice. Guys, yeah. do you guys have self checkout at your Michaels? Because we just experienced self checkout at Michaels for the first time. We have like a a decent sized Michaels where we live, so but this one's big with a self checkout. That was weird. That was cool. So yeah. Now 
I still need to get two more cakes, so we might go to another Michael's today. We shall see. I'll let you guys know. But today has been great. Hey guys. So I didn't film anything coming home yesterday, but we made it home. I got a lot done yesterday with like our business stuff and with knitting, which is great. We're going out again today. I'm wearing my marble sweater petite knit and it's so cozy so warm i'm so excited because today is going to be on a chilly side for southern california so yeah i'm excited anyway i'm going to bring my camera but i don't know if i'm going to film a lot it'll probably be a lot of time lapses and stuff just because yeah so yeah i'll bring you guys along but if i don't film a lot so sorry i've already filmed a lot of this video anyway but I am bringing my Sophie shawl, so I will be doing some knitting on the road. gosh okay let's set this up like this i just finished eating hey guys another new hairstyle because why not mm -hmm. i love this hairstyle like this anyway i finished the blanket ah look at this yay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh it's so cozy and nice. Hey, Onyx. Still here sniffing my camera. Oh, and I'm editing because I filmed a podcast. Okay. Which you guys would have seen already. But anyway, I finished the blanket. It looks so good. I made it like a three by three, basically. And yeah, I'm, I even started on another blanket. I got more yarn. You guys, I've been at Michael's. Oh, craziness chaos anyway let me get closer uh, i started another blanket you guys can come right here and this is what it looks like so far so not much but this one this one's gonna be big okay i have a lot of yarn for it it's this pound of love humongous a thousand yards i'm excited for that so yeah that's all I have for you guys. Honestly, this vlog was just everywhere, but that's how vlogs should be. It's any and everything, and I keep looking at Onyx. Yeah, it's just any and everything, day in the life, over a span of however many days, weeks. It's been weeks since I've been filming this video, by the way. <laughs> Probably a month. I don't remember when I started filming this, but anyway, yeah, I finished a Sophie scarf. I started another Sophie scarf. I'm deep into that one as well finished this blanket started another blanket so i feel like i accomplished a lot i filmed a podcast episode today oh <sighs> i had so much to talk about it was insane but yeah so that's gonna be it for this video i'm gonna start another vlog literally today probably i just love these vlogs because it's great filler videos for when you just you don't feel like i don't feel like filming a podcast or i have a project video that i'm filming and it's just taking forever because the project you know takes a while so the filming will take a while 
and it's just nice for you guys to get a nice look into my days especially because my days will be changing soon and i'm excited to take you guys on that journey so you're able to see how my days are now and how it will be later so anyway that's it for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you whenever i post another video also don't forget to follow me on instagram yeah i don't know why i blanked on instagram because that's where i update you guys on anything dealing with my yarn and my projects also let me know what you worked on while watching this video i don't think i said that and i'll see you guys in the next one